What's up, guys? The hunt's over. Been after one of these softly, I should say, for, I mean, almost 10 months, nine months, 10 months. Uh, yeah, uh, first time I ever handled one was about a year ago at Blade Show. Oh, wow, it's this tight box. I guess if you do it wrong. And I didn't really get it. I was like, ah, whatever. It's amazing how your taste changes. So then it was back in maybe, yeah, it was like October or something. Now it's currently, what is it now? <laughs> almost July, currently June. Yeah, so it's been almost 10 months or something. I played with Adam Sherry's again. And I was like, man, this is kind of cool. I definitely, I like, it's not even the clicks. It's the feeling that I would equate to maybe a bed of nails. If you've ever done that or felt that similar sensation. When you press really hard after the clicks. I think these are ceramic, little ceramic pins. They feel nice and like you can see the, yeah, exactly. I'm pressing really, oh wait, the camera's over here. I'm pressing really hard, look at this. So I, I like, this is what I like about it for some reason, that sensation. I've got pretty tough like hands, skin on my hands and the work I do. So the, I don't know, there's something about the roughness of this feel, totally. Oh, I just, I dig it. The hunt's over. I made a couple in search of posts, had some crazy offers of people wanting to sell them for, one was, one dude wanted $395 for this exact thing. These are like 125 retail. I refuse to pay the Lati tax, as I have coined it for the secondary market. Like, this stuff is cool, but it's not that cool. What number we got here? Number 65, 299. Four away from my favorite number. That's okay. So yeah, got a good deal on this one. I was not going to pay over three times retail or even close to three times retail. I wouldn't even have paid double retail. I got a pretty solid deal on this one. That was, yeah, definitely solid. From a guy that's relatively local too. So yeah, appreciate that. Not trying to gouge me on pricing. Not a whole lot to say, I guess. I'm gonna tie a lanyard on it, similar to this one. Same uh, knot pattern. Probably not gonna put a bead on the other end, but it's gonna be nice to at least have something to hold on to. I do have a Lati spore that's zirconium and stainless that, I mean, that might could be cool to put on, kind of like I have this mushroom bead, because then it's like a fidget on each end, because the spore itself is not a good spinner. Like if you hold it and try to spin it, it's not, it's not very good. So maybe, maybe these combined, but I also really just like this as a standalone. Let's see, I got this slip just to see, because it's kind of a weird shaped fidget, but really, if I do want to carry it this way, I still have the lanyard hanging out the top and it'll keep it protected. That might be, might be the way, because it might feel good to have something through my hand here while I'm holding it. Just a little more security. So that's the Wati Puffer Crash. Super simple fidget, well executed. Not worth the extra premium that it's currently selling for. People are buying them at those prices, it's insane. It's literally just the crunchy, Man, it's a crunchy keychain made of fancy metals. Oh, and if you're still here, so this, maybe you noticed in the last video, when the channel hits 500 subscribers, I feel like I should give something away. So this was a gift to me. So I'm gonna re-gift it to one of you. If you're in the US, I'll cover shipping because you know, it's like four or five bucks. 
if you're international, we'll figure it out. But we'll also figure it out when we get there. Not at 500 subs yet. The uh, Gal Cube square slide or something. Got some extra magnets. Got the little clicker plates. Got the box. It's an awesome entry level fidget. That doesn't mean it's bad in any way. It's just entry level. It's basic. Can't wait to give it to one of y'all. Thanks for watching. See ya.